Welcome to Audio Codes Training Academy. This video tutorial shows you how to enable syslogs on a media or media pack device. The simplest method of enabling syslogs is to use the web browser interface. To enable syslogs, you must be at the syslog settings page located under the system folder in the navigation tree. The syslog service must be enabled and a location for sending the logs upstream must be defined. The standard syslog port of 514 is defined and typically does not need to be changed. In order to obtain verbose logs, the debug level must be set to detailed for immediate or 5 for a media pack. Additional check boxes for various activities can be selected but typically are used for monitoring the device over the long term. It is best practice to ensure that either syslogs is disabled when not used or set to the lowest level if monitoring the device long term unless directed by an audio codes engineer to leave the detailed level on. To obtain the syslogs, you must access the Audio Codes device's web interface. Once logged into the device, select Configuration from the navigation bar, expand the folder labeled System in the navigation tree, and click on the web page labeled Syslog Settings. With the Syslog Settings web page opened, enable syslogs by selecting Enable from the drop down menu. Input the destination IP address of the server collecting the syslog, such as a PC or workstation. Set debug level to Detail, and finally click on the Submit button to save the changes. The media pack syslog settings are similar, with the exception being the debug level is a value rather than a description. Note that the values are 0, 1, 5, 6, and 7. 5 is the same as detailed on the median, so select that value and click Submit. Audio codes can provide a syslog utility called Syslog Viewer to capture the logs to the local PC. Another common method is Wireshark, which can be used to capture the syslog data as well. Filters can be applied so that data sent from the medians or media packs can be easily viewed. The example shown here filters out syslogs and unwanted ICMP requests from the incoming data stream. When using either utility, ensure you save the data captured for analysis and to send to audio codes as requested. We hope you have found this video useful. If you need more information, you can download our documents from www.audiocodes.com library.